I so far have had one hen come through. And looking across here, I can see the other food plot and that would have been my other option. And there's three or four, maybe five gobblers down there with a bunch of hens just strutting and showing out. I should have stayed in bed. He's still there, but he's definitely not interested in my call. Well, this afternoon is off to a wonderful start. I thought the rain had finally quit, so I headed this way, and then I got an alert that there's more rain supposed to be coming. So, climbed up in this redneck blind so that if it does rain, I'll be dry. But yesterday afternoon, Mike saw a bunch of turkeys out here. Unfortunately, I just got a picture of that big group of gobblers all the way at the back of the property at a stand that really there ain't much way to try to slip up there any closer to them than hunt them. Plus with rain, there's nowhere back there to get up out of rain and that camera's allergic to the rain. So, here I sit. Maybe they'll decide to roost at the same place they did last night, which was somewhere over in there. If they do, they'll be here eventually. We got a little over three hours before dark, so they got time to come over this way to roost if that's what they decide to do. But also, I just got a picture of hogs over by our camp house. We've been trying to eradicate them, and they're there when we're not. So, yesterday afternoon I stayed over fishing, missed all the turkey excitement, and if hogs had shown up, I could have ran back there and shot them. And now today they do show up, I'm over here. So, I've never had a lot of luck over here in the afternoons, but of course Michael proved that to be a... Uh, not necessarily something that's going to happen all the time because Michael had great luck. So maybe it's me. Maybe I'm the problem. I guess in the next three hours we'll figure that out. Fingers crossed. I've got several trail camera pictures of some hogs back at the camp. I thought, well, they'll be gone the time I get there. Well, we kept getting pictures. And finally, I said, you know what? Turkeys ain't here. Michael texted me and said, if you ain't got a gobbler by now, you better go shoot hogs. And I came over here and saw them on this clear cut. And I slipped up to probably about 40 yards from them. And these are the two that I found. A big old spotted one. And a red one. And I really think I got more than that. I'm gonna look around here and see if I can find any more, but the, jo the uh, job here was eradication. This ain't sport hunting. This is removing a problem. And two of them have therefore been removed. It's a good day in the backwoods.
I bet I didn't hear half a dozen gobbles all morning. And that joker just came strutting into the decoys. They got, I got my decoys at 20 yards. That way if they hang up, they're still in gun range. And I'm gonna say he got to about 30 yards and just saw something he didn't quite like. And he had turned around and was fixing to leave. <laughs> I put that hawk on him and turned it loose. Retain baby right there. <clears throat> Gobbler down in Georgia. <laughs> oh man. He's showing off his fan coming in there. Strutting. Big old pretty full fan on him. He's got Real dark wings. Big Mike's had that the other day. Almost looks like an Osceola. Let's see what kind of beard he's got. Well, he's got a good beard. He's, shoot, I'm gonna say it's gonna be probably a little over 10 inches. Definitely ain't gonna make 11, but I believe it'll be over 10. What kind of spurs he got? <laughs> he does not have any spurs at all. Barely a little bump there where they're supposed to grow spurs. Well, that might be why he decided not to go in there and whip up on that, <laughs> on that Jake. He might have decided he had bigger spurs than he did. He didn't bring a knife to the fight. But big old pretty fan. Just good time. They wasn't gobbling much this morning, but I knew. I got a fly in my ear. I know that right now. They wasn't gobbling much this morning, but I knew this is a spot that we've been seeing a lot of turkeys on the spy point. So just came in here and hung out. When they ain't gobbling anywhere else, it ain't like you're just gonna slip off and try to go to one gobbling. So best thing you can do is just sit tight and see what happens. I had three or four hens in here most of the morning. and Finally, he slipped in quiet and came in strutting, putting on a show. But <clears throat> put the old red dot there from Hawk, little reflex sight, put it on him. Like Big Mike would say, I knew I could do it, just didn't know it'd take me so long. <laughs>